Okay, so this is Johnny Peppers, and I am going to be doing a quick stat crunch video here in my stat lab on how to find uh, population summary statistics. So we have our homework here. We have data representing pulse rates of beats per minute of nine students enrolled in the stats course. We're going to treat these nine students as a population and not a sample, and that makes us uh, have to look at some different things in StatCrunch. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my information in StatCrunch. I'm going to click on this icon here, which is going to bring up my data. I have my students and their pulse rates. And the first thing they want me to find is the population standard deviation. Uh, sigma is population standard deviation. So I'll go to Stat, Summary Stats, and Columns, because my data is set in columns. The column I want to choose is Pulse, of course. And my, my first thing I'm going to look for is standard deviation. I go, oh, here it is, and I click it. The problem is that this is sample standard deviation, not population standard deviation. So I have to scroll down in my choice of statistics here and find unadjusted standard deviation. And if you recall, the difference between population and sample standard deviation is in your variance formula because your standard deviations are the square root of your variance. So your variance formula for population variance is the denominator of that formula is capital N for the population uh, number of nine in this case. For sample variance, the denominator is lowercase n minus one. So if your denominator of your formula is different, you're going to get a different result. So we want to make sure in a population we use unadjusted standard deviation. We click Compute, and we get our 9.298. And it says here to round to one decimal place, so that would be 9.3. Well done. Next, we want to determine the sample standard deviation of the following two simple random samples of size 3. Sample 1 is Megan, Jeff, and Clarice. Sample 2 is Kathy, Clarice, and Jeanette. So I need to find the samples of only Megan, Jeff, or the standard deviation of Megan, Jeff, and Clarice. So I'll just go over here and I'll change this from var 3 to sample 1. And I'll change my fourth variance to sample 2 and I'll do them both at the same time. I click that to get rid of it and it shows up over here. You can go back and look at your results later. So I have two different samples. So I have Megan, so I can make that as 68, Jeff is 85, and Clarice is 87. And then in sample two, I have Kathy, who is 71, Clarice, who is 87, and Jeanette, who is 84. So what I've done is I've created two new columns and just have the information that I need. So now I can go to Stat, Summary Stats, and Columns, and I can select both, Sample 1 and Sample 2 at the same time, and now I want Sample Standard Deviation. So I can click that for Sample Standard Deviation, click Compute, and now I have both of my answers at once. So my sample standard deviation for sample one is one decimal place, 10.4. Excellent. My sample standard deviation of two is 8.5. Nice work. So now I have completed A and B. So let's see C. 